Hi, welcome back to Youth for the Academy. Today we're going to be learning what we call emphatic stress. Yeah, emphatic stress is one of the common questions that will occur during West Africa examination. And today we're going to be learning how to solve the problem during, during the exam and also how to use it in fluent speech or how to use it in spoken English. So the first thing you have to know during the exam is you have to know that it doesn't come in a statement form. Statements, the second one, question, you have to see, you're going to see this one, question, and this, are capitalized, capitalized, contrast, importance, and intensifiers. Let me quickly explain these six. So I'm going to start with this one, the last one here. Now we call it intensifiers. These are words for emphasis. These are words for em uh, emphasis. For, for example, adjective and Adverb. So we use adjective and adverb for emphasis in words. So here, uh, here are two examples, so and very. So here we're going to be using so and very and some uh, emphatic words in our sentences now, right? Now listen. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. So in this place, the word really is the word and I'm emphasizing. Did you get that now? So the word really here is a uh, the word I'm emphasizing. Did you get that? So then we get a second example. She she was extremely hungry. You can also say she was extremely hungry. She was extremely hungry. So when, we, when you say she was extremely hungry, the standard stress here, she'll be hungry. But when you stress this, it shows that you are, you are emphasizing this word. Right? And listen to that again. The first one, I'm going to stress this one. And the second one, I'm going to stress this. She was, she was extremely hungry. She was extremely hungry. So what am I emphasizing here? What am I stressing? I'm stressing this. So there's this standard stress. Did you get that? So the next one you are to uh, I'm going to stress now is this. She was extremely hungry. She was extremely hungry. And now this shows the importance of it's conditioned. Do you get that there? So the next one. Lagos is so beautiful. Lagos is so beautiful. So what am I emphasizing here? It's so. Okay? And the last one. It was very hot. It was very hot. So and if I uh, I am emphasizing the word very here. So this very is the emphatic what? The emphatic stress there. So is an emphasized word. Okay? And now look at this. The word very hard, if you don't want to say very hard, um, if you want to use some other words, you can say scorching or baking. Is that clear? Alright, so now let's go to the next one. All right, welcome back. Now look at this now. As I was saying, emphatic stress is a, is a test used to examine a candidate. Used to examine a candidate's ability to identify a particular word in a sentence that, is, uh, that needs to be emphasized or pronounced with more force or loudness. And now what I'm trying to say is that emphatic stress is used to test students. It's used to tell them to identify if they really understand this. 
false aloudness in their words. All right, so we we want to look at examples here. You know, I told you that we're going to be learning the solution, the solution for emphatic stress. So how to solve emphatic stress uh, problem in examination. All right. So now let, let's look at these examples. The first example here. Then bought a new car. Then bought a new car. What am I stressing here? Well, can you tell me the word I am emphasizing? Okay, I am emphasizing the word bought. So, the word bought is a word I'm emphasizing. Now, look at this, this is a statement. Alright? Now, let's look at the, these questions. Did Dad hire a new car? B. Does Dan deal in cars? C. Has Dan acquired a new car? D. Does Dan have a new car? Alright, for you to answer this, this is what you have to understand. This is a statement and these are questions. What you have to do is for you to look at the, this question, you have to look at it very well. And the A question here that suits this statement, that suits this answer, you have to see this as your answer and this as a question. So you have to imagine it like this. Just to see that I am asking you this question. So if you are to, if you are to answer me, what kind of answer will you give me? If I say, the dad hired a new car, what will you say? So, if the question really suits your answer, so the answer you, you're giving me is going to be, the answer you're giving me is like this. So, any, what I'm trying to say is that any question that suits your answer is going to be the, uh, is going to be the correct answer here. And the other thing you can also do is for you to look at a word that is in contrast with a given word, uh, with a main word, or let's say with an emphasized word. All right. So what's the emphasized word here? What's the emphatic stress here? So we're looking at the word balls, right? Now look at all the words given here. We have higher. We have deal, we have acquired, and also we have what? Have. Now what you have to do here is that you have to look for words here that is, that is in contrast with this, with this, with these boards. So can you tell me the word that is in contrast with boards here? Alright, the answer is hire. So the dad hire a new car. No, then Dan bought a new car. Then Dan hired a new car? No, Dan bought a new car. All right, let's go to the second example. Kim can like biscuits. Kim like biscuits. Kim like biscuits. Kim like biscuits. All right, so this is a statement. And these are the questions. Who likes biscuits? What does Kim like? Does Kim like this? Or uh, does Kim like bicycle? Does Kim hate biscuits? Does Kim hate biscuits? Alright. No. Kim like biscuits. Kim like biscuits. So you have to look for the word that's in contrast. Did you get that? So you have to look for the word that's in contrast with a given word, with a main word, with an emphasized word. So the emphasized word here is like. Kim like biscuits. Kim like biscuits. Right? Does Kim hate biscuits? No. Kim like biscuits. Kim like biscuits. Right. I believe with these two examples, you will be able to solve these kind of questions that may come your way. 
Alright, so this is where we're going to have today's class. And if this is your first time of watching my video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for listening. I am you funny.